While the kids are out of school, the 7 on 8 is going to feature an Ask Ellen segment every day. Ellen's taking the weather and science questions from kids. Yes, which I love because we get such great questions. Yeah. Here's the question I got today from Emery. How does lightning strike between clouds without t touching the ground? Yes, so how okay. does lightning strike between the clouds without touching the ground? Hmm. And Emery, I have the answer. Of course you do. <laughs> so there are four types of lightning. We have the cloud to ground bolts, which yep. we typically see. We have intra cloud, which are those flashes mm. of lightning bolts. We have spider webby ones, which climb up the side of clouds. And then we have cloud to cloud lightning or cloud to air lightning. So we have all these different bolts. And a lot of times we think of lightning needing to strike an object. But lightning isn't looking for an object to strike. Instead, it's looking for tons of invisible charged particles to strike instead. So this all starts when a thunderstorm cloud is formed. As a thunderstorm cloud grows into the sky, ice crystals start creating positive and negative charges all inside the cloud. And something really cool happens around the cloud. We'll see positive and negative charges forming in the air around it and near the ground. So lightning is looking for more and more of those charges so that it can equalize it. So if you get a nice batch of different charged particles around the cloud or in the cloud, the lightning will look for those spots to strike. So it's all driven by these invisible things that we can't even spot. Instead, the bolt is just looking for positive charges to link up with positive charges. And when it gets strong enough, that lightning bolt will strike. So again, a lot of times we just see it when it hits the ground and we yeah. think, oh, it has to hit a tree or a lightning, yeah. or, you know, a light pole or something. Sure. Nope, it's looking for those invisible things all in the air to equalize the energy. Oh, and we'll be seeing more and more lightning soon because it's yes. now officially spring. It is. Yeah. We had a chance last night. We didn't really see too many thunderstorms, but I think you're right, Emily. They are around the corner and they will be here uh, sooner than we think. Yeah. So we have an article online for parents and kids that want to learn about the different types of lightnings that you can check them out so when the storms start to form you can start to place which kind of lightning you're seeing. I think this is a lesson for homeschool right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay.